everyone. I'm working in my creative journal today, Dilutions 8x5, and just applying some Liquitex gesso. And now just applying some stamps to the background. And instead of using a black ink, I just wanted it muted um, because of the colours that I was using. So just using some sepia arch archival ink and Tim Holtz's Bitty Grunge stamp set. It's my go-to for my background stamping. And then I like this script stamp from Tim Holtz, um, the Attic Treasures set. And so I'm just adding it with some Brilliance Cosmic Copper Archival Pigment Ink. And I end up, once I paint over it, add it again because it sort of got lost. Now, I recently bought these chalky finish acrylic paints. Um, they're for glass, but they work fine on paper. And so just using some soft muted tones, shall we say. I love the colours. So just applying them sort of together with my brush so that they blend in a bit better. And you'll see here I go back and I re-stamp that Attic Treasures script stamp with the um, Cosmic Copper. And now taking some texture paste and also in that lot of paints that I'd recently bought was a Mink Pearl um, metallic acrylic paint. And so I was mixing that in with the texture paste and I'm applying it over the Tim Holtz lace layering stencil. Now I wanted to put a border on this page and that's why I left a bit of space there before I started the um, texture paste. Yeah, I had to leave that to dry before I could um, apply it to the bottom of the page. So I'm taking some Liquid Hex Basics Copper acrylic paint and just painting the border. I thought that colour blended in nicely with the colours that I've used on the page. I end up getting some masking tape and just to get a straight line for that border. How pretty does that colour look? Here I am just getting the excess stickiness off that masking tape. And then trying to line it up and finish that border. Yeah, it actually needs a couple of coats. So quickly drying it between coats. Now I've done the border and I've um, googled a vintage 
lady image and I think this is Queen Victoria I'm not quite sure um, and I printed it I actually um, opened it in Word and then reset the color well changed the color to a sepia tone I think and then printed it out using my inkjet printer cut it out and that's where it was going in that bottom right hand corner now just masking off those border areas before I do some more sponging over a stencil and that's the Kaiser Craft doily template they call them templates rather than stencils but they're a stencil so I'm mixing some heavy gesso with some blue art artisan powder now I don't know why I bought this I think just because I love the color um, and I have hardly used it at all so mixing it in with this heavy gesso has given it a softer tone and works well with the page I thought and I didn't want to use texture paste only because it makes the journal bulky when it's closed and hard to work on because I flip through my journal and work from front like I'll take a page at the front and the next time a page at the back so I don't go from start to finish in a book I wanted a, a, like a whitish or a brighter color but not too bright um, in relation to the the other colors that I had on the page now that's where she's gonna sit um, yeah just inking the edges with some ink of gold in copper so copper is the color theme of today by the look of it yeah I actually ripped her face when I um, was cutting it out I need a new blade so now I'm going to apply well adhere it down to the page with some scotch quick dry adhesive before I then work on top of it And now I didn't heed my own advice and I applied uh, well this is the heavy gesso but mixed with the nouveau embellishment mousse it does add a bit more texture to the page and so when you close it it's sort of bulky And I didn't want all of that stencil on there so I've masked it off using masking tape and then I go over and I apply it in the gutter there which is silly because it's not going to close oh, and I've just with the stencil or the um, masking tape underneath the stencil has ripped that image so I've tried to clean it up and no so here I am trying to remove the heaviness of that medium in the gutter now I've let that dry and I'm now just going to sponge on some of the nouveau embellishment mousse 
rather than applying it with the heavy paste or heavy gesso it looks a bit messy now but oh well lesson learned you would think now I just want to take one of those single flowers I'm not adding texture paste to it just sponging it on and given what I used for the title of the page I thought it needed a clock in there somewhere so I found this in my Graphic 45's Nutcracker Suite stamp set this old grandfather clock and stamping it with whatever it was that I put up there I think it might have been the Brilliance um, fresh copper or copper now I need I needed to add the title uh, printed onto cardstock and this is lightweight cardstock but I wanted it not similar to the colors but a vintage background because I thought the stark white would detract from the page so here I'm using some distress oxides just braid them on um, spritz them and um, dried it and then printed the quote using my inkjet printer and then just cut the pieces out and glued them on the page and oh, I did well, I'll show that in a minute um, so yeah I haven't journaled for a while except when I stream each week and so this was sort of getting back to my roots this page so I'm taking the Tim Holtz distress tool and just roughing up those edges and I decided to use the mink pearl acrylic paint to paint the edges just roughly so that a little bit of that white showed through then I thought it was too dull so I ended up can't remember what I used on the um, oh, here we go yeah a, um, a Faber-Castell Nougat Pit Artist Big Brush so that added a bit more dimension to those little bits of paper and here I am just trying to work out how I'm going to position the title on the page and adhering them down now with some Aileen's tacky glue just squeeze that one there so it's sat in the gutter a lot better a little easier I did stretch the page when opened okay now I thought it needed a bit more dimension um, a separation between the border and the page so I'm just taking that Nougat uh, big brush and going around the edge inside edge of that um, border and I thought that helped it so thanks so much for watching guys um, close-up pics and description of products used for this page will be listed well linked below in the description so Till next time. Bye guys.